Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up everybody, it's Tufsa, and I just went to Dick's, Sporting Goods that is. Dave Tivateller is not actively sponsored by Dick's Sporting Goods, but he would love to be if Dick's wants to give him some money. That'd be great, thank you. I had to get a baseball glove for my son, because baseball season's starting up soon, and he's a lefty, and finding a left... Uh, handed glove is not that easy. Well, actually, it goes on your right hand if you're left-handed. Anyways, I haven't been fishing because the weather's been lousy and I've been super busy because my kids are busy and I gotta be at a lot of different places. So, I'm gonna try and go fishing right now. I'm gonna sneak in an hour or so of fishing. The rivers are really high because the snow melted and then it's been raining a lot. My chances are slim, but you never know! You never know, so let's do it. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, there's a carp right in there. See him? There's some carp right in here if you want to go after carp. I want to catch a sucker. I've never caught a sucker before. So that's what I'm doing. I got one. Oh, dang it. Nope, I'll tree. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, I think this is a white sucker. Oh man, look at it. This is awesome. You seeing this? This is a white sucker. To double check his catch, Tifsa did some internet research and it was determined that this is a golden red horse sucker, not a white sucker. It still is a new species for Tifsa though. Alright, oh, species 31! <laughs> yeah. Oh look at see? He's got that sucker mouth protruding. And I think, you see his head has got some, uh, you know, spikes or horns, if you will. I think is it spawning season? Let's get this guy back in the water. So cool! Yes! Alright. I'll let you go, big guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To catch the sucker, what I was using is I just had a little split shot sinker and then a small hook just a little bit down the line. The idea is that this holds the line like steady, if you will, or you know the tension, and this floats a little bit, you know, in the water. So this is steady and this is kind of like floating and then sucker grabs it and goes wherever it goes and then you see the tension on your line and then now you reel it in. Oh yeah! You see that corner over there like right in there? I'm gonna walk along the edge of the building and see if I can trap down right there. It's probably a dumb idea. Oh, I wish me luck.
got him. Worms too. Smallmouth bastard. Yeah, look at that, buddy. Woo yes. All right, let's let him go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just a little river um, tip, if you will. So, look at all that mad current. I mean, look at it all. That's that's some serious current. But then there's this tree right here. You see it? And as the tree lays, it kind of creates a barrier, and that's where I was fishing, on this like line right here. That kind of slack in the water is where fish are going to hang. They're going to hang right here, and then wait for bait to come near them, and then brrr, grab it. And that's what the sucker did, that's what the smallmouth did. So if there's ever a fast current, and it's been raining a lot, there's a lot of current, they're not gonna be out in there fighting that current real hard. They're gonna find places to hang. And that's where they were hanging. And I use that knowledge to my advantage. And you should too, and maybe you'll catch some river fish. Like a white sucker. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so cool. Species 31. All right, thanks. Push all the good buttons. Uh, warm weather. Ah, oh, this is great. It's time to get after some fishing again. Yeah! Look at this. I grabbed a thorn. You know, I was grabbing a hold of a tree and there's a thorn on it. So, now the price you pay for fish. 